Victor Sinclair, 20th anniversary on the little boost Hey, Ryan McKay, and this is Cigar Blog. <coughs> okay, so, my apologies for uh, any kind of wind noise you might hear. I swear I was not doing this like an hour ago. So, I kind of threw a wrench in my gears. Anywho, <coughs> Victor Sinclair, 20th anniversary. If you know anything about Victor Sinclair, they are the quintessential good El Cheapo, as in, they're cheap and they don't suck. <laughs> They've been around for a good solid 20 years, and, well, they've actually managed to get a little bit of notoriety unto themselves by making a 70-gauge uh, premium select thing or something like that. Anyway, big, huge, uh, just like smoking a candy bar thing. This is the 20th anniversary family family tradition. <coughs> so, since it's windy enough that I can't really set my phone down, I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, do the cutting light off screen. So, uh, yeah, give me two shakes. Okay, straight off the bat, kind of nutty, clean the back on, a little bit of spice on the tail end, not bad. Also, I want to say like a sweet cinnamon, mm. very interesting, okay. So far, initial light, seems pretty good. I had to do a little touch up here and there, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and yank the bands, for whether they're not glued to the wrapper, irritatingly. Get this down the first inch and get a proper update. There's always somebody with a stupid loud motorcycle. Anyway, got to the halfway point. I said I was going to remove both bands. I only removed one because, as it turns out, yes, they do that irritating thing where they glue the band on and it sticks to the wrapper. So be, be a little mindful of that. Anyway. So far, this is really reminding me of the uh, American Candy Hot Tamales. It's basically a uh, cinnamon flavored candy coated jelly thing. For some reason, Americans love cinnamon. Unless, of course, you're that dyslexic cook that decides to make cinnamon rolls, but adds extra cayenne instead. So I an article I thought to myself, I hope they did not eat those. Anyway, Retro Hill has a very kind of sweet cinnamon mouth is kind of a sweet cinnamon, a little bit of clean tobacco, a touch of grassiness every so often. They're all interesting. It's also definitely a very smoky note in there at one point. Like, you know, barbecue grill smokiness, you know? Interesting. Anyway, uh, still trying to suss out exactly what all is going on in this particular cigar. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to handle the big band other than maybe wait until I smoke the band because it's like almost in the middle of the scar. It's not quite enough worthy. Anyway, I'll figure that out when I get to it. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, pop off to the halfway point and uh, get an update from there. Okay, so not the halfway point, but the edge did just fall off. So hopefully I've got a good line for the proper halfway point. But uh, so far I've been noticing the burn has got a little odd. I'm trying to do a little touch up here and there, and I think part of it is because the lower band was kind of stuck to the wrapper that may have ended up causing a little bit of wonkiness, but uh, this is just kind of a partial update. Flavor-wise, pretty much the same as the last. Kind of got that uh, cinnamon red hot, kind of hot tamale candy. I want to say almost like a borderline real heavy cinnamon bun kind of thing. Anyway, I'll give you a proper update in uh, about Maybe an inch. Okay, I think that's a pretty, heavy, pretty good halfway point here. I'm kind of starting to notice that the cinnamon seems to be dying down. There seems to be a little bit more of a vanilla transition coming in. So, that's interesting. Overall, though, um, like I said, watch out for that lower band. And the, either band on the cigar, because some of them get a little sticky. And that will screw up your burn. Otherwise, though, it's kind of getting a bit less of the cinnamon and a little bit more of the sweet, which is actually kind of nice. Pitches and Clear cigars are kind of known for being like the quintessential everyday cigar because they're usually dirt cheap and they're actually still pretty good quality for the lower end. I mean, it's still, I guess, technically a boutique brand, but they are known for being affordable, but not suck. So yeah, by all means, you know, wouldn't hurt you to check them out.
drink pairing wise, I don't actually know yet. I'm kind of inclined to say any kind of whiskey. I don't know if I would pair this with a coffee or not. Also, for some reason, the ash is getting a little flaky. I'm not too sure what's going on with that. But anyway, I'm gonna get this down to the nub and uh, see how things shape up from there. There's a bird just flew back. That's it, it looks like a nub, wouldn't you? Alright, so. We're getting to the point where the flavors pretty much just wash out. And there's somebody walking along the ways. Kind of lost in his own little world, that's fine. Okay, anyway. Flavors so far have been... Kind of on the sweet cinnamon side. Every so often you get a slight birdiness, especially in the retrohail. Do not retrohale too much because it is real strong. Tree, be nice to me. Block the wind, thank you. Anyway, apologies for wind noise, I can't help it. I'm trying my best with this little, nice little friendly tree here. But uh, anyway, flavors stay actually pretty consistent throughout most of the cigar. Every so often you get a little bit of a birdiness, a little bit of almost a vanilla note. So it kind of teeters between a cinnamon candy and a cinnamon roll. If that makes any sense. Overall, not bad. For the price, you kind of can't beat them. It's a Victor Sinclair, so they're going to be affordable. These ones might be a little more expensive than your typical Victor Sinclair, but I'd say probably worth it. Anyway, drink pairings, I can definitely say it's a strong candidate for whiskey. Once you get uh, towards the end, coffee becomes a little bit more appropriate, shall we say. Beyond that, though, pretty much just uh, watch out for the bands, because occasionally they get a little sticky. Other than that, not much else to say. For the price, you kind of can't beat this Victor Sinclair. They are handmade. They are actual boutique cigars. They're just affordable. I keep wanting to say cheap. The thing is, cheap has its own connotation to it, of being like low quality. And they're actually pretty decent. At least most of the ones I've had. If you had to find one that was just straight up bad, those of them are at least passable, if not somewhat good. Anyway, not much else to say about this. Other than, if you like this review or any other review, like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know if you had a different experience. Beyond that, check out my Twitch stream Sunday to Friday night, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. If you can't make the live broadcast, eventually they show up on YouTube. And I uh, kind of had to start uh, changing up the music selection because I keep getting copyright bullshit, so, yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this one. I'll see you next time.